that's funny. As I was turning. money that adds to it. I mean, I can't imagine if since it's private land that you'd have to pay out of pocket. It'd be cheap. And this is definitely not maintained, not very often, so it's not, nothing that I can tell that would have it publicly maintained by TxDOT. Of course, it ain't like they get much rain out here, so there's some worse erosion on its wind. Observatory. I got Penny with me. Hey, Penny. Say hello to camera, Penny. She's hot. She's like, I don't know about this whole desert stuff. Oh, here we go. This is where you could really mess up. Man, of course, if you went off to the right there, that'd be pretty bad. Be serious tumbling, a couple hundred feet, I guess. Here, not so bad. I still told her your car. <laughs> That's a given, right? Pretty place. In its own unique way. Dry and hot though. A lot of trees die. Trees that don't usually die in the desert. It's amazing how many cedars, those junipers have died. That's some serious drought. Those things can get water from a rock. By the way, all this is volcanic. The Davis Mountains are actually volcanic. The Guadalupe are an uplift. But this is actually a volcanic um, building, mountain building, all the Davis Mountains. And you can tell by the color of the rock that it's volcanic. You can even see some of them like pumice, you know, these full of air bubble or gas bubbles. Um, all right, well, that's it. I don't know how exciting that was or wasn't, but we'll go back into two-wheel drive. And here's some big old boulders. That would crush your car, I think, that come tumbling down from that cliff right there. Pretty cool stuff, though. But yeah, that's interesting. Of course, I don't, that's not going to go anywhere for a million years. The two big old boulders right here. Signing out.